top 10 richest men in South Africa this year. Today, we'll bring to you the richest men in South Africa this year. Number 10, Loritz De Pena, $850 million. Loritz Laurie De Pena is an entrepreneur and a self-made billionaire who started his business career right from the bottom and built an excellent business portfolio and career, which is taking him to the very top of the South African food chain. Born and bred in South Africa, Laurie started his career as a qualified accountant at KPMG after the completion of his Master's of Commerce degree at the University of Pretoria. After working in several positions for different organizations, including the Industrial Development Corporation of South Africa for over three years, Loris decided it's time to create his own business brand. This led him to the creation of Rand Consolidated Investing Company alongside partners like Gary Ferreira and Paul Harris. Number 9. Jani Mouton $1.2 billion Jani is among the richest men in Africa, not just because of his talents and eye for business, but also for his tenacity and a relentless drive to make it big. This is because Jani never had a smoothness business career. However, he managed to put all the difficulties behind him to focus on ways to be better at what he loves doing. His career as a business owner started while working as an articled clerk at PwC. After gaining his bachelor's degree from Stellenbosch University, he proceeded to earn qualifications that helped him become a qualified chartered accountant in 1973. However, he was sacked and this led him to set up his own company known as a PSG Group. Number 8. Christopher Viers, $1.3 billion Christopher Viers earned his place among the richest men in South Africa through his expertise in consumer retail. After earning his bachelor's degree in the university, Christopher moved to practice law for a few years at Pekbo, which was a discount clothing brand established with the support of his parents. He served as the director of the company before leaving his role. Through his expertise in consumer retail, Christopher helped ShopRite start out a chain of supermarkets around South Africa. Number 7. Alan W.B. Gray $1.5 million Alan William Buchanan Gray is one of the prudent billionaires who made a fortune from a series of investments that has a huge value today. After completing his studies at Harvard University in America, Alan decided to work for an asset management firm known as Fidelity Management and Research in America. After spending almost a decade at the company, he was recognized as a successful contrarian investor during the economic crisis of 1962. Alan decided to set up his own company in his hometown in South Africa and then relocated in 1973. His new company was named Alan Gray Limited and started business with investment counseling. Number 6. Stephen Saad, $1.7 billion Stephen Saad is one of the most recognized billionaires in South Africa as he owns the largest producer of generic medicines in the whole of Africa, Aspen Pharmacare. Stephen launched his career in the pharmaceutical industry in a prescription drug distribution company known as QuickMed. His companies were focused on black townships during the apartheid. Number 5. Michel Leroux, $1.9 billion Michel is not much of a popular figure in South Africa, and most people do not know he is behind the creation of one of the biggest banks in South Africa, Capitec Bank. This bank was set up in the late 2001 to help introduce a better form of banking and make transactions seem easier between business owners and customers. Michel's earnings have brought him so far among the richest men in South Africa as his net worth keeps growing with time. Despite leaving his role as the CEO of the company in 2004, Michel still serves as the chairman of the board and owns as much as an 11% stake in the company he established. Number 4. Kuz Becker $2.9 billion As one of the richest men in South Africa, Kuz had established and nurtured a string of businesses from low worth to high net worth. After spending a couple of years in advertising for numerous brands, Kuz decided to earn an MBA degree at the Columbia Business School. During the defense of his project's paper, he met a few friends with whom they decided to establish pay television services. The pay television would later be known as Mnet. This company has subsidiaries like MultiChoice, which has grown to be the biggest pay television in Africa. Number 3. Patrice Motsepe $2.9 billion Patrice Motsepe is an entrepreneur who made billions out of his investments in gold mining. 
In what started out to be a small-scale business franchise, Whatever's business acumen was able to help develop strategies that helped scale to business to greater heights. Being a valuable industry in South Africa, a growth in his business saw a significant rise in his net worth. Today, he's one of the richest men in South Africa. Motepe took the opportunity of a drop in prices of gold to purchase marginal gold mines from Anglo Gold. At the time, he was able to start with a total of 6 minute shafts valued at a whopping $8 million at the time. Though he acquired these shafts on loan, he swiftly repaid the loans in no time. After paying off his debts, Mosepe creates the mining company known as the African Rainbow Minerals. Number 2. Johan Rupert $7.1 billion Johan launched his business venture as an apprentice at Chase Manhattan for a couple of years. He also served as an apprentice at the Lazard Ferris for over three years. After spending a total of five years as an apprentice in America, Johan felt he has acquired enough skill and knowledge to start his own business brand. He then decided to return to South Africa and create the Rand Merchant Bank. Number 1. Nikki Oppenheimer – $8 billion Nikki is at the peak of the richest men in South Africa with a sizable net worth of a staggering $8 billion. His career reached a high point when he was appointed as a director of the Anglo-American company in 1974 after working for over six years for the company. His achievements in his role as director helped him earn the deputy chairman role at the company in 1983. After spending over 17 years as a deputy chairman, Nikki decided to call his time at the company by resigning to become a non-executive director of the company. After spending a few years in both diamond mining companies, he became the chairman of both companies in 2020. That said, that is where we will pack our bags for today's video. If you enjoyed the video and found it entertaining enough, do all to give it a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts about this topic in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our new uploads. Thanks for watching. There are other amazing videos on this channel you can check, so please keep watching.